Hi, welcome to the A Surface Show, where we share useful information for builders, architects, developers, designers, and industry professionals. We're here with Denny Austin today from Realstone Systems. We're going to introduce uh, Denny and Realstone wall panels. We find these wall panels in hotels, casinos, ski resort lodges, uh, residential fireplaces. It's uh, an amazing company. They've been a great partner to us. How you doing, Denny? Everything is well. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate you having me. Thanks. Thanks for coming on the show today. Denny, tell us a little bit. We've got a lot of real stone uh, products here, sample sizes and many of them. Tell us, tell us what we have here on the table. Well, this is a full-size panel, 6 by 24 inches, which is typically how our products come. This happens to be our carbon-honed accent stone. Very popular. So that's one full panel. This is our mocha ledge stone because it's got a rough face. Got it. Uh, this is cut in half, so this is more for a sample. What's this one here? That's our uh, latte honed. So it's got a smooth honed finish as opposed to the ledge. Got it. So the different colors would come in either the honed or the ledge finish. This one looks almost like a travertine. Uh, it, it does. It's actually a limestone. Limestone? Mm-hmm. Latte honed limestone. And what about this one? This is uh, very unique. This is our copper shadow. Then we call it shadow stone. So each of these pieces are pretty much the same size, whereas this mixes it up a little bit. Got same it. thing with the terracotta here. This You'll, one's the terracotta. Right, terracotta. And this is what we call our accent stone profile. And by that, we put larger pieces in with smaller pieces, right. which kind of mixes it up, makes it a little bit more attractive. In my opinion, I like that better. A lot, than... of, a lot of color and variation in this right. one. Right, as yeah. well as the depth. Got it. That one's great. Then we've got some planks. Uh, many people think they're porcelain. They are actually stone, but they're thin. So these come in a number of different colors. These are one of the few uh, horizontal or flooring applications we can use. So this this can be used on a vertical or horizontal right. application. And is the size of this also 6x24? And it also comes in a 12x24. Gotcha. Just the planks. These are the planks. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is beautiful. And, and uh, these are uh, pretty unique. This is what we call hive. So these are very dimensional. Right. It's clearly molded. It's 90% stone dust and powder uh, and 10% resin. Okay. So it comes in four different colors and there's concave and convex. It's great for accent walls. That's great. And this is a corner piece. So we call it a fingered corner. So that's how our corners go together. So you can see the facing on the corner, the exposed corner piece as well as the... Good. So if you've got a column or you're wrapping a fireplace... That's the, how you'd the install corner, the corner. The corners come in very handy. Great. Thank you. You know, we've worked and we see a lot of different uh, products, stone product wall coverings, let's say. Um, but your product, hence the name, is Real Stone, correct? Correct. And all of these wall panels are, are real stone? Yes. And t tell me a little bit, how, how is the stone constructed? Well, each panel, uh, these are uh, abbreviated. They're actually the uh, 6 by 24 inch variety for the most part. So that would be a full panel. So our, uh, our artists put these stones in together one at a time. We use an enormous amount of adhesive on the back and in between. But you'll never see any on the face because that's unattractive. So it, that way, you can cut this anywhere you want, which you're going to have to do to puzzle it together when you're installing it. So that's basically the, uh, the construction process. So when this is installed, it, it's put together like a puzzle? It actually, it's a dry stack. There okay. is no need for grouting. So one's going to go on the other. You're going to stagger them slightly so that you're not going to see a lot of seams. Right. But by staggering it, you will disguise that. Got it. And it just goes on with a thin set mortar on the back. Danny, uh, give us a rundown um, how this panel is made. I see here there's several different pieces incorporated into this uh, six inch by two foot panel. Talk to us about how this is constructed. Six by one, or, so six by 24 inches. Right. Got it. So there is a mold, if you will, or a frame or a jig that is going to establish your size and then all these pieces there's just tons of them and artists literally will take these pieces and place them one by one 
<clears throat> excuse me, by hand. Right. And you can see there's also relief going on. So some are taller and some are smaller. And so we purposely do that because it kind of breaks it up and it's not as regimented. Right. Then at the end, they take a, a final cut, which is very square. It just can't go out more than two millimeters in squareness. And that's your paint. So it's using a great deal of amount of adhesive on the back and in between each piece. But they're very cautious not to have any of the adhesive seep through or show through the individual pieces. Right. And then lastly, if these pieces don't fit tightly, then your thin set mortar that you're using to install the product is going to ooze through perhaps and start to show, which is equally unattractive. Sure. So those are that's basically the rundown on how we assemble one panel at a time. Now, the, the adhesive that you use is such that I can take, uh, if I had to cut a panel, mm -hmm. I could cut it with an angle grinder or with a concrete saw? Concrete saw. You want to use a wet saw, either a diamond or a carbon blade. Yep. And again, because there's so much adhesive, you can cut it anywhere you want because you're going to have to puzzle it together. Sure. Right? So yeah, it, that's, that's how you would cut it. We've covered a lot of information today. Uh, if you like what you've heard, would like more information, click on the button below, shoot us an email. Uh, love to connect with you and talk more about multifamily projects.